So I just got my big joy order of the Cassandra Clare Mortal Instruments box set. And as you can see, the tape that they used for packaging it even has the runes, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I already removed my address here. Yeah. Um, we have the tape runes into the bottom and also on the other side. And they packed it really well. There's um, these protective um, plastic all over, so I guess if it rains, it doesn't get damaged. So I just removed it from the box, and you can see it's even. There's even styrofoam in here, so it's packed really well. So I've removed all the bubble wrap. It's packed in this styrofoam. I've just finished unpacking and there was a sticker here. And this is called the Empathy Rune. I haven't read these yet. I've only watched like the first movie. The city of bones so i don't really know the whole story and then there's this um card and it says you're the owner of Vidjoy special edition books box set instruments and if you want to read it i'll uh, just leave it here and you can pause it all right and this is the box it says in the name of the clave, I ask entry to this holy place. In the name of the battle that never ends, I ask the use of your weapons. And in the name of the angel Raziel, I ask your blessing on my mission against the darkness. And there's like swords here. It's really beautifully packaged. So all the edges are perfect. Like it wasn't ruined from the delivery. I wish all um books were packaged this way and delivered this way so they don't get damaged but yeah let's put it on the table and i'll show you at the bottom it says the joy special edition and there's like these look like church um you know those glass panes at the church and then okay, here is like a sword and all those runes. Let's see the other side. It's a cup. I don't know what any of these mean because it's been a while since I last watched that movie, so I'm excited to read uh, this. And at the top, let's see. So at the top, there are four runes on there. And let's see the back of this thing. So there's an angel. Yep, and that's it. And this is the new rune in the sticker. All right, and I'll lay it on the table. So as you can see, the edges are perfect. They weren't damaged or anything from the delivery. So now, let's open this thing. Oh wow, it looks really beautiful. So there's um, this pool here so that you can lift the books out, I guess. And there's some like glue, I guess. But it's fine, it's not damaged or anything. I think it looks perfect. So I'm gonna pull this and see. I'm gonna try to remove all the books and I'll be right back. So I've removed it and this is the sixth book. Oops. So as you can see, that's the front and this is the back. And at the side, it says Lovejoy Special Edition and Cassandra Clare. And 
There's that. And the front page, it has a signature. Although, I'm not sure if the signature is printed or if it's a real signature. But there are some pages that have like um, annotations on the side. See, um, I'm not sure if you saw that, but there were some annotations. Here, let me show you. Now, I don't know if this was written or printed. It looks like it's printed. Yeah, it looks like it's printed. But supposedly the first book was really signed by Cassandra Clare. So I'm gonna check that out for you guys. But yeah, these are the pages, and yeah, there are some pages that have prints, and there's some pages that yeah, have drawings and things like that, and those are the edges, and then there's runes, or not runes, but the drawing that's in front of the book is also on the side. So let me put this aside and let me look at the other books. Um, more specifically, let's look at the first book, City of Bones and see whether, whether it's really printed the signature is real or if it's printed. <clears throat> That's the spine. Or I should do that. <laughs> and it's perfect. The book is perfect. And the back. So what's on the back? And same as the sixth book. So the the drawing at the front is what's on the side, and it's all just black at the top. That's the first page. I can do a flip through if you guys want. So is this the signature? It looks like this is the real signature. You can see it's a marker. So yeah, I'm guessing this is the real signature. I, I love the drawing of the church. Yeah, as you can see, it marked the back. So this is the real signature. <clears throat> City of Bones. And there's some maps. And then there are annotations again. And this one. Yeah, this. This looks like it's, it's just printed on. Now this looks like it was just printed. So the only like real signature is this one. This is the real signature and these are just printings I'm guessing. There's just they're just printed, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> mm, but 
yeah it'll be really cool to read that as you're reading the book to see like annotations from the author to know what she was thinking and all that so every book seems to have just one or one color drawing in the middle the back I can show you and this is the artwork at the back oh there's even like discussions and things like that it's pretty cool really nice they're really really nice this is are all hardbound copies of course okay so put this back and let's look at the second book so i don't think this was signed but let's see oh, there's a bit of a dirt there that's fine though or maybe that's just design. <laughs> so there it is. City of Ashes. So that's book two. And that's the sides. Um, yeah, there's, there doesn't seem to be any more like, signatures, like this doesn't look like it's a real signature. So these are not, I think these are just glued in. I don't think they're sewn in, so I'm kind of afraid to break the spine. <laughs> But, yeah, I wish, I wish it was sewn in so you don't have to worry about opening it too wide and all that. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, there's still, like... seem to be I don't know I don't know if it's sewn in it doesn't look like it to me yeah. <laughs> anyway so yeah there's still annotations but looks like they're all printed um, annotations Cool, but um, yeah, let's look for the printing here. If you wanted to see how many annotations there were, that was just a quick flip through. Yeah, that that was the print. It's usually at the center of the book. Yeah, that was that was the second book. Yeah, it seems like it's just glued on. It doesn't seem like it's sewn in because if it's sewn in, you can open it as wide as you want. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it seems like it's just glued in. You can see the glue right there. So two. This is the 
this book. Three. That's the rune. You already know. And this is the spine. The city of glass. And that is the artwork at the back. Wow. That's the sculpture that is just printed. As you all know by now. I think that's what that looks like. It's real. So let me know. But when I read it, or when I read the description, they said it was. The, just the first book that has the signature, so. Well, that's what it looks like, and I think this is where we see the drawing. Let's see. There we go. Wow, it's actually two pages this time. The colored drawings. And that's it. That is City of Glass. This is City of Fallen Angels. And then that's the logo and that's the drawing. Okay. That is the drawing for this book. It's only one page. And there are annotations for this as well. Alright. Next one we have the fifth book. And that is the logo and this is the title City of Lost Souls Sandra Claire and the back there's the back alright so It. This is the drawing. Oh, that's really nice. It's really cool. And there's still some annotations as well. I think it was really beautiful. Um, let's see, what does the inside look like? Let's remove all the books one by one just so I can see if there are any drawings inside. It doesn't seem like it though. It seems like it's just black and empty. Yeah. It's just empty. It'd be cool if they had artwork there, but yeah. So that is it for this video. Um, it's really cool that they have this strap right here so it's easier to remove the books from inside. But yeah, I think this was really, really nice. Packaging was great. It arrived in perfect condition. They really know that they're collectors of their joint, so they package it really well. stars all around for the packaging and I got this 
when it was raining, but it was it didn't damage the books at all because of the bubble wrap and how carefully they package it with styrofoam and all that. So it arrived perfectly. So yeah, I would say it's pretty good. Um, paid around two hundred dollars for it. And because I ordered this during like the Black Friday sale, I think that was like 30, 20, no, 25% off, I think. So good, good deal, good value for money, I think. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.